Hi everybody. Today I will show how I am post-processing food photo. Uh, I will show uh, two types of uh, pictures, the dark picture and the uh, light picture. So well, uh, in food photography generally we need to show details and color. And as far as I am uh, working for stock photography and shooting food also for stock photography, the picture should look more commercial. Well, you can see here, this picture was taken with a prime Fujinon lens, 35 millimeters. Two at aperture 8 and I used one strobe light and one uh, silver reflector. So what am I doing first? I go to the tab details and change some values to 55, 160 and 15 texture mix micro detail. I'm shutting down noise reduction. I'm shutting down color in noise. But I leave this value I mean <coughs> placing, fringing and more at uh, value 3 or 2. Also, we can increase clarity. Not too much. 20 or plus 25 should be okay. Then I go to color. In fact, I prefer to, uh, while making photos, make them a little bit underexposed. So, I know that my flash gives me the color temperature 5, 6, 100 Kelvin. So I can set it up uh, manually. What I need more? I want to make this food, this is potato pancakes, we call them in my country draniki, with mushroom sauce. I want to make them more colorful. I want to add color. But if I add vibrance, you see my table becomes blue. It's not true. It's black. So, in this case, we don't need to use vibrance or just a little. I prefer to add saturation about plus 30 and this is not enough. We go to curves, select channel comma and move from the center oh, something like like that. I want to kill this bluishness, so I move also a little <coughs> this point. We can also go to blue <coughs> channel and move a little this point to make my table looks black, not blue. 
and then I go to exposure tab. I want to keep this picture dark. Let's call it low key. But I want to make the food, uh, how to say it, <clears throat> to become more bright. So well, that's why I'm increasing brightness in highlights, only in highlights. So here I can see a little clipping. I'm fixing it by moving this slider. Okay. And now I can add more highlights and this slider. I also add some contrast to the picture. 29 or maybe 35. Contrast also gives us a little bit more color. So I can fix it by decreasing saturation if it's too much. And <clears throat> this metal plate at my taste looks too dark. So I move this slider, shadows, a little. Uh, let's say plus 35. Yeah, I can see texture here, some texture here. Yeah. <clears throat> but I want to keep the table, the background, darker. So I can do it simple way. Lens. Vignette. And increase amount. Lighten so that then we go to the opposite side. Yeah, it's too much. And let's let's do it like that, like that. So <clears throat> this is my post processing for dark images. Here I have one more image, <clears throat> I call it light image and uh, <clears throat> after Photoshop this image, this food will be only on the white background. So we go for details. 55, 160, 15, all the same, color, five, six hundred, saturation, plus 30, curves, and more almost the same almost And then I add brightness to highlights. 
we have we have here overexposed area some cheese looks also overexposed we try to fix it with this slider extreme highlight recovery but this is not exactly the same as in previous picture <clears throat> so let's slide it to the zero and move this slider and this just a little in this case we keep uh, the contrast of the picture and we decrease overexposed areas I'm adding some contrast and add some fill light not too much later in Photoshop I will paint with white these black areas so this salad will be only on the white background so I move this slider shadows neighborhood adaptive to plus 50 this will help us to see details in shadow areas and now let's check overexposed areas you see here a little bit here and here again we move highlights we can decrease midtones a little bit and increase in this case shadows so this is very simple post uh, <coughs> post processing for food photography you can see all richness of the colors you can see the details here is 100 percent you see this onion structure oil you can see the cheese structure so everything everything is good and this is more than enough for food photography for stock photography for restaurant <coughs> if you shoot for restaurants cafes or bars that's all if you have any question write it down in the comments thank you